like Albertsons with my grandma. All my memories with my I love my grandma. We used to uh, we would go there and we would like take the we would like write down the cheat codes because we didn't really have any money to buy the magazines, the cheat code magazines. So is that one active? No, it's just this one. So we would always like bring our thing and write down the comic books. I used to play. I mean, I write down the codes. I used to play the hell out. I mean, we used to got the cheat codes for uh, the uh, game I was just talking about. Zombies ate my neighbors, and we like skipped to like the second to last level, and it was like friggin' impossible. The game is so impossible to play, man. And then uh, oh, there is another one, isn't there? Yeah, shit inside. Um, we used to get the cheat codes for Road Rash '64. Oh my god. Oh man, that game was just so ugly. Like, it didn't even matter who won. We were just, every time we crashed, we'd just be cracking up. I'm gonna die. Ow. Oh no, I just took it. I used to just crack up laughing, man. That game was funny. No, please, fuck! Just deactivate! Is it deactivated? Nope. Is this how you do it? There we go. Um. Yeah, dude, like, Road Rash 64 put in that cheat code so we can get those, uh, get those, uh, what were they called? Those, they were, they were called, like, the Super Bikes? I think I still have that game. If I don't, I need to buy it. I don't think I have it, because if I had, I'd probably be playing it right now. Like, or sometime extremely soon. But, like, man, I swear if I die and then I have to fucking start this shit over, I'm gonna throw a fit. Um... Yeah, see, there's no easy way of getting back up there, is there? Let me see if I can gay it up. Oh, come on, one more time. Yes! Um, we used to play the hell out of that and get those super bikes. You go so fast, you crash, you go fucking flying. Oh, man. And then my uncle would play with us, and he'd always pick the black guy, and he'd be like, man, I don't want the other man, I want the brother man. Like, that used to just have me dying. I really need to find that game. I think I'm going to go on eBay <laughs> tonight and buy that shit, like, right now. Cause that game was great. It was hilarious, man. And uh, our favorite level was uh, it was like an airport hangar, like an airport, uh, a airplane runway, and it was literally like the level's like 10 seconds long, and it's just a straight getaway. And once we figured out how to gate it up, where you can like stick your weapon in people's spokes, cause like depending on the guy you pick, uh, determined what weapon you got. And like you know you'd get like a chain. You could of course you couldn't use a chain, but like you'd get a chain or you'd get like a pipe or a you know, some sort of weapon. Word? Alright then. You'd always get like some sort of weapon, and I'm gonna kill that guy and hopefully he'll drop some health. Um, and we would always pick the cheap guys that had like the pipes or the crowbars. And if you, I remember if you press. Fucking cheap. Didn't have nothing. Um, I remember if you press like up, I think it was. Correct? No, probably no one even knows. Someone probably knows. I think you press up and right. On the C pad, at the same time, uh, that you would poke it in the spokes of whoever was to the right. Really? Come on, man! You would poke it in the spokes to whoever was to the right of you. Whereas if you press up and left, you'd do it to the left side. So we'd be just racing, like you know, going really fast on these super bikes, going like 800 miles an hour, and they're just. Boop! It would be a shame if this crowbar went in your spokes and then just crashing. Oh my God! I'm gonna get electrocuted. I need to I need to go buy the game. The game is hilarious. I I am you know what? I think I might download an emulator or something cuz I can't wait. I'm going to buy it and then I'm going to download the emulator cuz I'm excited now. <laughs> that game was so much fun. Nope. We used to always play a we used to always play a lot of James Bond games back before they sucked ass and just became Call of Duty with Bond characters. Um oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, God. Remember, you guys remember that back in the day when Bond games were actually fun? Now they just... It's just Call of fuck a Duty. Suck, suck, suck. Um, but like, we used to play, um... I remember, uh... No, 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 no! I remember... What was that one? Uh, it wasn't Everything... Everything or Nothing was a really good... That one was really fun. But it was the one before that... Oh fucking Death Robot. Giant attack! What was it? Uh, world is not enough. The world is not enough was the first Bond game that I recall, where you couldn't have two bad guys fight each other. When it come on now, 
I'm sure there's someone here that's watching this remembers that when you played The World Is Not Enough when you were younger on the N64, that when you'd pick, like, Bond and then someone else would pick a good character, like, good characters don't fight each other. How fucking cheap is that, right? I was, like, so pissed off when they, like, why, what were they thinking when they did that? Like, no, even, no good characters could fight each other. So if one person picked Bond, everyone else had to pick bad guys. Like, it was just sucky. And, like, Brain and my brother would always fight over James Bond. Brain always loved to pick James Bond. But then my brother would pick James Bond just to piss him off. So it would just be a constant friggin' wrestling fight for it. It was retarded. They would just constantly race to whoever got him first. And then Brain would throw a fit because he didn't get him. And then... Like, he'd restart the game, and then they'd race to the car. Oh, it was just annoying. I ended up just, like, picking, like, a typical guy. Like, you know, like, oh, I'm the typical soldier, but I'm the commander of the ages. I'm the Arnold Schwarzenegger soldier. You know, like, I would just I would just have fun with it. Like, I may be a regular soldier, but I'm unstoppable. Like, stuff like that. And then, uh, I would either do that or I'd pick, like, a chick and just, like, laugh. Like, hey, look at my, look at my tatas, and then, like, kill him or something. Just great. Awesome. Good thing I finished that mission. So I would do stuff like that. It just sucked. Like, can't pick a good guy. And then they had, like, Bond in a spacesuit. Or was that... Oh, they put me back here. Or was that that, uh, Nightfire? Is that the one with Bond in the spacesuit? I just know it was funny. Had that big-ass dome. And if you shot, like, the dome, it counted as a headshot. <laughs> but we used to play that a lot, too. Um, funny thing is I completely lost track of time. So, to let you guys know what happened, because I've been rambling about nothing that I'm sure you guys probably don't give a fuck about, uh, I collected all the bottles in which I will figure out how to, what the fuck to do with that. Um, we have a lot of slide missions. We have like three of them. Yeah, to get, uh, to get Murray out of solitary. And, uh, this level actually isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, because I remember reading a comment right before I, right before I started recording. I was checking the comments to, to think of topics to talk about, which I thought was funny because I already com I already like forgot all the topics before I started recording. Um, I only remembered like two out of the like five I picked. But um, when I was reading them, someone was like, "Oh, Vash, if you hated that level with a passion, just you wait. The next two or three levels are even worse." And I'm like, oh. I was like dreading playing this game. I'm like, please, man, please. I really cannot take another fucking. I don't even remember that guy's name, Rajon level, like, no, Rajon, I'm not doing that again, and I was, like, all thinking about it, but this level actually isn't that bad, uh, I like it, I like it, like, way better than the last one, but, um, I'm out of here, it's, like, almost 10, I have to use the bathroom, and, uh, I got a couple things to do, alright, so, uh, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you're enjoying this, because this one was actually a lot more fun than the last one I did. And uh, I hope you guys have a awesome rest of your day slash night, depending on when I upload this, because I'm inconsistent during the day. And uh, I will see you guys in the next part. Bye! Bye, bye, bye! Bye! Bye!